right, here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship here tonight. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become the champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proven ground for his first UFC title fight tonight. Stars have a line, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two-division champion, Conor McGregor, as such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare-down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the buildup, when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. Connor McGregor, the sport's biggest superstar, has graced the octagon. McGregor is ready to fight. tale of the date for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Black Mamba. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, the notorious Connor. Herb Dean, Ready, our fight. referee for this Ready. one. Yeah. Dean on Anaheim, California, USA. We are inside Honda Center where women were ushered into the UFC in this very building back in 2013. In this very building, you understood how big a star Ronda Rousey was because this place was as loud as it's ever been. Can you get the crowd on their feet tonight as Ronda Rousey did? Way back when she defended her title. When Ronda Rousey made that walk at UFC 157, truly a sports moment where most people remember exactly where they were. You will never forget the moment you saw Ronda hit the curve in Anaheim. Oh, man. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Nice job by Conor McGregor navigating distance here, and he's done a pretty good job overall, BC, navigating his celebrity. He can't go anywhere in his native Ireland without getting stopped by somebody. 
but he has really focused on his craft. The work ethic has never waned, and McGregor appears to be in great shape here tonight. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops a straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a buzz dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Now the jab gets through. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Just misses with the jab. Oh, how good is that kick? Keep moving. Beautiful right hook counter. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stricken four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, McGregor's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Three minutes have elapsed here in round one. It's beautiful kick lands. Wow, massive uppercut. Oh! 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 Oh, hard shot. Big shots being landed on both sides here. And back to his feet. Oh, man, he to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse, and you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching forward, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go around. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Big power shot there. Oh, and he found the target again. Well, Conor McGregor has found his range early as he sticks the left hand. That kick lands. Oh, big right hand. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. Ready. How is he going to breathe Ready. in order to have a chance Good. to win this fight? All right, round two. All right, next round is now on the way. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them just really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward.
All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood. Man, he's got good hands. Beautiful strike there. Oh, he might be out. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this fight. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. A uh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all in trouble strikes. Quick jab. Well, he misses with the left punch there. All right, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now, and he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad, but as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get his victory. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state. Oh! He missed with that jab attempt. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Connor. Lands the right hand over the top. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his strike. Got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. McGregor's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Oh, nice. Right hook to the head block. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing on the side of his opponent's head over and over again. Good fight here, under two to go. Secure that takedown and win the round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder match. Oh, McGregor's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter. Oh, he's hurt bad. <laughs> McGregor gets tattooed with that hook. He's gonna have to change some things here. While wisely, he continues to strike right on that cut. And the oh! It's been a crazy fight. Looking for that left, it's not there. Hook shot lands. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. I will see if he. Blood. I think I can actually pick out his blood type from here. Where's the doctor? 15 seconds. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. The guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Round right, three next. All right, we're gonna stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. 
All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who wolves and goes down first. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just now. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Lead left by Connor. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's not. Like, he got hurt again. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's gonna continue down the path and get the hand raise. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. job to reverse position there on the ground and now we'll see what he can do with the dominant position all right side control now dc you know he's in his element on the ground a lot of tricks up his sleeve a lot of tricks working from the top here pretty good grounded pound here by mcgregor Break that. Break that. nicely done McGregor ground and pound from Hasbro. Oh, right, well, the local hospital might be busy later tonight. What an absolute war this has been. The cup men have done a pretty good job, but both guys are weakening in the face of it. Yeah, they're working full. Their work is full tonight. I mean, the cut men are having to try to piece these two together after every single round. But this has been fun. This has been a fun fight between like two incredibly tough mixed martial artists, and they are laying it on the line. Oh, McGregor's mouth is just disgusting, unless you like these sort of things, but he is pouring blood right now, and I think the referee might call on the ringside physician. We might even get a stoppage here soon. The belly. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Next. Oh! Oh! That is gonna do it! Huh? Oh, my goodness! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's go inside the octagon now. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 23 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Black Mamba. DC, you know what it's like to get that first UFC belt and become a champion. That is his reality here tonight in New World Order here at 170 pounds. You've watched this guy over the course of his career carry this chip on his shoulder. Now you can watch him take a breath because now you've accomplished the ultimate goal of becoming the UFC champion. Congratulations.